Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm back here again in this little corner. So for today's video I want to do a haul for you guys. So yesterday I actually finally went to go pick up my mail and I received my Sephora order. So this was for the during the VIB sale. I did pick up well I did pick up one item and then I did add some point perks in here so we have this guy to unbox plus I'm happy I received this before I moved out because <laughs> I saw I was going to get this but last I was checking it still wasn't shipped so all of a sudden I see it there so we have this guy from Influencer so I received another box box from Influencer. So I'm going to be opening up this guy. And I did not put on my mother. I did not put on mascara because that item is in here. So I want to go ahead and try them out. So we have that. And then also last night, my husband and I went on a little target run so we bought some new items some restocks there was one item I really wanted to try out and then also another bag here so I guess for the home doing some home shopping the new home so if you guys are interested in all of these guys then go ahead and keep watching and let's get started I think the first item I'm going to start off with is the box box since I don't have any mascara and I want to have some on to do the rest of the video so we're going to start off with this guy so again receiving Laura Mercier my last box box was this brand as well which was the lipstick the blush and the lip liner and I did really enjoy the blush and the lipstick really really well so I have here new Caviar Volume Panoramic Mascara. So excited to try something else out. So then you have here the little pamphlet, which does come with the Caviar Volume Panoramic Mascara and the Artist Eyelash Curler. So I guess I can curl them right now since I did pack mine away. So we have here the two products. So exciting to try these. Has a little replacement, which I know the one that I currently have does have a replacement, but I don't know where that is. <laughs> oh, this one's nice. Have it right here, and it does say Laura Mercier. You see, again, too bright. I think because this corner is all white, it reflects more. Better. So you have the curler, and then here we have the mascara. It says in glossy black. So here we have the mascara. I don't know if you can actually see. Here, right here you can see the lettering. A little bit reflective. And I did just throw out some old mascaras trying to get rid of stuff I've been throwing out plenty of stuff hmm. interesting wand so let's go ahead and apply this so I zoomed you guys in and I guess I can 
start curling. I like how this one gets, I guess, a little bit more in there than the one that I currently have. All curled. Well, they seem to look really, really long. So we have here with the mascara and without. It seems to be very long. I see layering it on it also does not clump up yeah no clumping whatsoever pretty nice so I have to keep playing around with it a little bit more so far not too bad not too bad so first impressions I think I like it now I have mascara on for the rest of the video so we can go ahead and keep going so now with my mascara on I can go ahead and continue this I feel more complete now so now we're gonna do Sephora what I did end up picking up for the VIB sale since I am VIB not Rouge which is the middle tier I got 15% off and I actually wanted to place other orders I actually wanted to go to the store and get some other items but life has been a little bit chaotic right now I haven't really had much time with anything so I could not pick up some other items, but I did get quite a few. So I'm going to start with the item that I did buy and then the little additions. Here we go. So I did want to try this one out from Anastasia Beverly Hills. They do have the brow gel. So I got saw this in a little set, the Power Duo, which includes a mini dip brow gel and the Brow Wiz, which I've heard good things about. So I thought getting, since I mostly wanted to try this one out, but it included this guy. So I thought, why not? This one is for $25 and I did end up picking it up for the 15% off. I did get the shade Taupe. So to try this one out, I do go through brow products fairly quickly. So stocking up on brow products is always a good idea. So we have it out of the box, less reflective. So I think this should be interesting to try. It's really cute. So here I have both. So 
so I thought getting in this little set would be a good way to try these products out and see how I like them, especially this guy. I heard some I heard some good things. I heard it's very pigmented. So I did have the dip brow before and I did use the shade in taupe. So I stuck with taupe as well in this form to see how that goes. So I picked up that and then also with point perks. Oh, actually, I did pick up one more item. So this is from Sephora. This is a single eyeshadow, a glitter eyeshadow. And it says here the number 283 in What Happens in Vegas. So a glittery shade. Again, I do love these guys to top on my lid when I mostly do matte shades. I like to dab a little bit on of these guys. So I thought this would be fun. I think I just wanted to add just wanted to add something else to the cart. Not just get one item, so I got this one. It's so tiny. It's so tiny. So, not as glittery as I hoped for. Hmm. Maybe tabbing it on because I don't. No. Hmm. So I did a swatch. It looks like in the pan at all. I don't know about this one. And it seems very, very powdery. Not a lot would pick up on my finger. So I'm not sure about this one. Oh, I see this. I open it from the bottom. And can actually remove the pan so we put it in a Z palette so maybe I'll actually end up doing that but I don't really like it don't really like that at all and then there I guess you can see better the swatch which is not impressive Not impressive. So, moving on to the items I got with my points. These were 100 points each, which I saw they sold out quickly. Really, really quickly. So I got three items. And I'll start with the really, really tiny item first. So this is from Bobbi Brown, the Crushed Liquid Lip. And this one is in the shade Smoothie Move. So it's a 0 0.07 fluid ounce. It's really, really tiny. But I guess right now, with the whole moving, I'm only limited to certain makeup, so... Oh my god, this is so cute! I can go ahead and add this to the bag. And it's a different color. Oh my god. This is really, really tiny, but it's adorable. But now I have another shade I can have with me. Let's see if I can swatch this guy. It's just a mauve color, which I was sad because these colors I did pack away and I do love. 
but since I was limited with the options, this would be great to add because of the size. So I guess the size works, but I have it right here. Again, the brightness right there. So pretty mauve. It's just so tiny, it's so tiny. Wow. So then the, have here the next item, got here from NARS, and this is the Orgasm Blush, which again, another one I've heard a lot of great, great things about. You know, this one's a really, really popular one I've never tried, but I actually did get a sample, I think, as a cream, and I did like it. I really did like it. So now I can try the powder. And it looks to be a pretty decent size. It says 0.12 ounces. And again, really, really cute, small. So another great one to add to my bag. And it does come with a little mirror. Here. That looks really, really pretty really really pretty up here it kind of looks to be a little bit shimmery a little bit so let me swatch this guy use my third finger which is the one that did not get the eyeshadow hmm. looks to be nice Since this is a blush, a little bit different to swatch. It's very light. Thought it'd be a little bit more pink. But I actually really like this. It looks really, really pretty. Turn the brightness down so you can look at the swatch. I have it right here if you can see it. very very pretty still have leftover on my finger which looks to be a really really pretty shade this looks very promising very very pretty I like it I like it a lot and again I love the small nature of it would work out great to add to my bag and then the last item I got from Urban Decay this is the All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. So again, all these guys were 100 points each. And these are actually first time with all of them. I actually did really want to try this guy out. And then I also really wanted to try this one out as well. I've heard great things. So this one is... 0.5 fluid ounce, 15 milliliter. It's really tight in there. So, not too bad of a size. Again, a great size to put in my bag right now. So I have heard great things about this one. It does make your makeup last. So maybe this one should be good for my line of work. So let's see. Oi. Sprayed a bit much right there. So I guess the first sprays are a little bit rough. But then it's not too bad. It's kind of similar to my Ofra spray which I've pretty much gotten used to. But this should be exciting to try. So I guess since I'll be working this Saturday, the day before Mother's Day and Mother's Day, it's going to be a tough one. So I will be giving this one a try for this weekend. 
So that was pretty much everything that I picked up for Sephora. So now we can move on to Target. So now moving on to Target items. <laughs> so since this time at the apartment, we're actually going to have a shower with one that requires a curtain. Not like here, we actually have a door that just opens and shuts. We didn't have any curtains or anything. So we bought some items for that. I did buy also a curtain rod, but then also I did get the shower liner which this one was, I think it was six dollars, six dollars for that. They'd also get the shower hooks, 12 pieces, which I think this guy was about eight dollars. So it seems to be a nice one. Really nice stainless steel looking. And then I guess also to go with the same color, you also got the fabric shower liner. So a little gray checkered pattern. And this guy was for $18. So I will be doing some more shower purchases, or I guess bathroom purchases, as we go along. And then for what's in this bag, so went to the hair section and we saw these and we picked up the last three. Picked up these three. As you guys know, if you've been watching me, you know I received this in a previous Vox box. And we've been really, really, really loving this. This has been pretty much the only deep conditioner we've been using in the bathroom. My husband tried it and also fell in love with it. So again, since it's not just me using it, we've been running out of this a little bit more quickly because it's both of us. And I saw at Target, these guys are actually $4.99. I had picked this up last time at CVS and I think there they're the, about $6.99. Although the last time I did pick them up there, they were on sale and I did use a coupon. So I ended up picking those guys up for about $3 each. But now I see that at Target they have them for $4.99, which is great. Great, 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 since we love these so much. So really awesome find there. So I do highly recommend these. Really, really love them, the way they leave your hair. Really nice. And speaking of hair, so this item Actually, this is why I wanted to do a Target run. So, I saw a YouTube video. So I think it's Babs. I've been watching her. I've been watching some of her videos and she recommended this. This is from Kristen S. The One Purple Shampoo. Brass reducing, instantly illuminating shine restoring, safe for daily use, and sulfate free. It says contains zip up technology and you have this guy it's 10 fluid ounces again with the brightness so she recommended this because she's been trying out different different products for her hair and I guess right now when I bleached it it's Back to brassy because I do bleach it before I can go gray so I can actually get the full gray color but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to go gray before moving I don't know if I'm gonna have time and I don't want to go like this with all this brass so I wanted to go ahead and give this guy a go I have been using a purple shampoo from Sally's and I have noticed no change so yes it was in her previous video at the time that I'm filming this it was her Ulta May haul 2019 so it's Babs Beauty she had 
mentioned this product and she said she had been trying it out for a little bit of time. She wanted to get, gather her thoughts on it first before mentioning it and she said she's been really enjoying this. She would go back and forth between this and Fanola but she had been reaching for this one more and I had wondered about Fanola. I've been wanting to try Fanola. You know that one's a little bit more expensive so I saw that this one was at Target so I thought I would give this a shot and this guy was $12 so I picked up two and they have a special now I don't know for how long either you buy it online or in the store like I did so you purchase $20 worth of this brand and you would get a $5 gift card for Target so I guess now I have $5 to purchase something else maybe another one of these or we'll see or maybe if I really really enjoy this I can get $5 off on it so I really really want to try this one out although right now my hair is clean I just washed it but I heard good things I saw the reviews I saw actually just on the first use it made a difference so I hope to even though my hair is clean right now I really want to give that a go so I can remove the brass or at least reduce it and then the next item since hubby was paying I saw this and I just threw it in the cart so I saw this from Opal House this is a two-pack hand towels and I mostly picked it up for this guy since right now I only have one pineapple dish towel which I received for I think it was for December December a gift from a friend but that was only one and I usually do one in the kitchen and one in the bathroom so now I can have another one I guess still a plus I get another one but I mostly wanted it for this guy so happy about this one I can go ahead and add it for the summer decorating so maybe that will be the next one once I get up there I will do well once I get a little bit settled I can do the summer decorating and then also I already put it on but I had been looking for a pop socket for my phone and there weren't too many options the ones that I really liked were about $20 and the previous pop socket I had bought actually broke while putting it just in and out of my pocket so I didn't want to spend that much on a pop socket if it might break so I ended up getting this one it's a little heart cactus Here. little heart cactus and I got this one for $9.99 so right here and well I usually like these for it's taking selfies or taking a picture with my husband and this one is let's see if I can It's swappable so I really really did like that it's swappable so I can go ahead and interchange the design so I guess this one was the only one that kind of worked for now I wanted to get one that was more solid since the there's a pattern on my case but I really really liked that it's swappable so really nice so that was everything that I did pick up from Target. So you guys, that was everything for today's video. A little bit of little hauls. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.